Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Agla Mesa's Brothers ice creams. They have been around since 1908 in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going to be trying the cream and cookies, banana, and butterscotch. These were $5.99 each at Jungle Gems International Market. And this is like a candy company. Yes. So they make like chocolates and stuff. Mm, that looks good. Stuff is right on top. Yeah, so if you look on, uh, go to their website online, uh, they sell lots of uh, chocolates and stuff like that. So, and it looks like there's cookies all So this them, is cookies and cream. They call it cream and cookies. They want it to be different. No, no. Yes, it's cookies and cream. <laughs> They do not have calories. No, I can see where they're saying cream though, because the cream is definitely the the major flavor. It's the strongest flavor. Because mm -hmm. even when you get cookies, mm -hmm. it's not a super strong cookie flavor. No, you're mainly tasting the that cream, the vanilla ice cream. Yes. Kind of yeah, even I mean the cookies you would expect them to be like Oreo. Well, mm -hmm. like like this is. It may not be an Oreo brand, but look, this has got the mm. the inside and everything. It's got a lot okay, of... Okay, you try that because I didn't get any... Because, no, 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 you're fine. I'm just saying, I'm really not getting the flavor of the cookie at all. Even eating the cookie almost directly, you still don't have a strong flavor. It's very, very light. You're, so, that's why they call it cream and cookie. The cookie, you really, you don't taste it. You get a little texture from it, mm -hmm. a little firmer texture. You get a little bit of that chocolate cookie flavor, but not. it's not a strong flavor. No. This is one I'd probably pass on. Uh, I would too. Oh, wait, I got a cookie here. Yeah, try it out and see if you can. Because I, like I said, I do get a little bit of that cookie flavor, but it's not an, I want more if I'm getting a cookies and cream, cream and cookies, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, just, it's very light. I would pass on that. It, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. Nothing wrong with I it. I mean, I'll, I'll eat that. But traditionally, the cookie is stronger, and that's what people are used to. Mm -hmm. And that's what people want when they're going for cookies and cream. You want to taste the cookie, right. and you don't taste the cookie in that. No. So, like I, I said, I'll eat it since we have it, but I just wouldn't repurpose it. I don't think people, other people would be pleased with that because they're used to traditional cookies and cream. This is the banana, yeah, flavored looking. with fresh bananas and pure vanilla extract. I'm curious as how banana it's going to be. Okay, flavored with pure vanilla and and, and Oreos. It yeah. actually says Oreos. It looked like Oreos. Yeah. They almost look like the thin Oreos. You could not taste them though. No. I, you could not, there was no Oreo flavor to me at all in that. Which is weird. Okay. So I did not let this lay out very long. So it still is a little firm. They're pretty soft though, just by default. We uh, we make our own homemade bana uh, banana ice cream and it's like my favorite ice cream that we make homemade. I love homemade banana. And this looks like it has pieces of something in it. Oh, banana. I hate to say it, but I don't like that. It's very old banana flavor. Like like you've got bananas, they're getting they're brown, brown on the counter. It's a brown banana. And the whole banana's brown, and normally you throw up the garbage. <laughs> and they use it in this ice cream. That's what it tastes like. It's got that very, very dark brown banana, mm -hmm. uh, banana flavor. I just don't like I never have like that flavor. Mm -mm. I passed on that too. Yeah. I, I mean, um, I'd much, I, I will eat the cookies, the cream and cookies. I will not touch one more bite. Kevin will eat that banana. It, um, I agree with him. When we make our... It's like something spoiled. <laughs> when we make our... Uh, Kevin's very particular about his bananas, though. He does not like... It's It's not against the brand. It's against the bananas. Because use. if it had been... If they had used fresh bananas, he would have liked it. I because I like, I like um, the banana ice cream we make. Yes, when we make our own, we make sure that we use very, very um, fresh bananas. The, the peels are still all perfectly yellow. But you know what? I like banana pudding that's been out the next day in the refrigerator. You do. And yeah. I like that. 
But it still isn't that brown. It's not that. I mean, this is like literally the bananas they're going to throw. Yeah, off. this is like they're, yes, like they're well aged. Yeah. yeah. I just like a flavor. Okay. Some people probably love that flavor. I just never did. The last one is butterscotch I'm flavored using, I love butterscotch. Flavored using butterscotch fudge. Yeah, I love, 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 love butterscotch. And they fill these up. So yeah. they're 16 ounce containers. Oh, and this is extremely soft. Butterscotch is like, if like, I had to pick a favorite flavor. Like this is very soft. Butterscotch would probably be it. It has that buttery caramel flavor, which is what I always kind of describe butterscotch as. Compared to the other two, that's really good. That is, yes. <laughs> that, I love that. I like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. I don't Very know creamy. why it would be so much softer. softer. I don't know, maybe because it doesn't have mix-ins. Mm. I can tell you, I um, we did a review of this, of three wow. other flavors. Um, I ate some the other night. It leaves a little bit of a greasy feel in your mouth, like a coating right. on the roof of your mouth. It's only after you've eaten a lot of it, right. like not all of it, but I ate like half. Yeah, um, he ate like half the cake. Yeah, that, and that's how we'll do these. We'll eat half one night, half the next But night. after eating about a half of it, I noticed it did coat my, the roof of my mouth a little bit with the, that kind of greasy you kind of feel. You get that with this. You get that with this one. Now, I didn't necessarily with these two. Of course, I didn't eat enough banana to, to notice, so I'm, I'm not going to. But um, the, cook, the cream and cookies, it may do that too. I just didn't notice it as much with that. This is a... It's a very syrupy, sweet butterscotch, though. Mm -hmm. It uh, the texture of it is very, very creamy, very yeah. soft. I like the flavor. I, I'm just I'm not disappointed. I'm surprised it doesn't have like they ran a ribbon of it in here where you got some of that butterscotch. Um, you know, ribbon. instead they just mix it all in. Yes, and and they could have mixed it in and done an additional yeah. ribbon. Like at the right, right as it's like finished. A thick ribbon. Yeah, like right as it's finished, you just put some in there and let it turn like five or six times. That's if you're being extra, because yeah. truly, it's you delicious. Don't need it. You don't need it. No, I'm just saying it surprised me that they didn't have a ribbon in there, but it yes. probably just takes more time. And probably, and effort. and it truly, it's fine just oh, the yeah. way it's it really is. Good. Yes, if you want to add an extra ribbon, that would be you know wonderful. Uh, but this is absolutely delicious the way it's, it is. It's good. Cream and cookies, good. Banana. Yeah. So out of we we this is our second review we did. We bought six total from Jungle Gems. Yeah, I see what was my favorite. Yes. It's gonna be hard. I would normally have said eggnog. Mm hmm However, the eggnog is really, really, really spiced. I mean mm -hmm. it's heavily spiced with nutmeg. Right. Um I think it'd be the butterscotch. Mm -hmm. And then that would probably be followed by the rum raisin and then the cream and cookies. That'd be my three. Um, I'm going to say butterscotch number one, uh, rum raisin number two. That rum raisin, if you good. didn't watch the video, you should watch it because it was packed full of raisins. Mm -hmm. It was very um, good. And then my third would be the eggnog. Really? Yeah. You you did. I mean, that's what I had the other night. But I didn't. Ha I haven't had any more of the eggnog since we did the review. It's either. the same thing. It's just it's just got that heavy spice. But anyway. this. <laughs> you just want to keep eating. You, you can't help it. I could eat that whole container yeah. right now. And what makes this even more delicious to me is it has sit here and melted. Oh, it melts it's, really good. So you get all that that's pure liquid, and so you just want to take your spoon. That's how just, you've always eaten ice cream. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. It's so good. Um, so if you do get a chance to try it, try the butterscotch, try the rum raisin. Yeah, those are the best uh, too. Those are the best too. And the, the banana, if you like that brown banana flavor, you'll love that. I think these were the only six flavors we saw there. That's right? the only ones we were. I okay, because I was thinking we were there and I was going to get one of everything they had because I knew we wouldn't see it once we got home. So we only saw it at Jungle Gems. If they sell it somewhere else, then let us know. Yeah, I would if, say they sell it at other stores in Cincinnati area. In Ohio. Yeah. If they sell it in another state, that's what I'm curious about. Yeah. Have you ever, if you're not in Ohio and you've seen these, let us know. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.